Hey everyone, I'm Mari Ray, and this is Irum, the Orc, and we are back in more Skyrim. Last episode, we joined the Companions, but this episode, I want to go back to the main story. The bread and butter, the cheese and cracker, the butter on the biscuit. Wait, does that count as bread and butter? You know what, we're going back to the main story, and I think we're supposed to be going to go see the Greybeards. I'm kind of curious if these guys are going to look like uh, Gandalf, because I want them to look like Gandalf. How come I don't remember how to do anything in this game every time I, like, close it and come back to it? I genuinely never remember. I think this is how I get to my quest. Okay, there we go. I'm... I remember slowly. It's... The brain just throws out everything I'm supposed to be doing. Where is the main one? The Greybeards. Yes, we have to go see Gandalf. Um, there's a ton of missions around this place now from the Companions. I'll probably do some more side missions, you know, in my spare time. I'm sure there's tons and tons of side missions to do in this game, but we're going to focus on doing the main mission this particular episode. Okay, sorry about the weird jump cut, but I, I stopped to sell some stuff, and I actually bought some stuff as well. Uh, the blacksmith there had an orcish greatsword, which had like plus 10, so I bought that, and then I got some uh, new armor, some steel armor, which was a little bit better than what I had before, so... I don't th know what that does for me. I really need to dive more into, like, the skill trees and stuff in this game. Like, I don't know too much about them in the background, so... I'm not the most versed in what I, I guess, should be doing, but... I'm always for better numbers and stuff like that. I do need to try some different fighting styles. I, I've been sticking to the greatsword because it's just, it does the most damage, at least numbers wise from what I can tell. But I don't know if this is the fighting style I'm gonna like the best. You know what, first playthrough, we're just gonna be like an orc barbarian at this point. We're just swinging around a sword as wildly as we can because uh, I have no idea what else I should be investing in. But I do need to work on my like, um, what do you call it? blacksmithing and all that other good stuff like that so I could actually craft some stuff because I want to be able to craft stuff with enchantments and there's like a certain level that I have to get to to even be able to do that so I have like weapons that have enchantments on them that kind of suck but I would like to strip the enchantments off of those weapons if I can and maybe put them on some other stuff like you know what I mean also is there storage in this game because I have a problem with keeping literally everything that I find and it's becoming a problem with I can't run when I have too much stuff on me so uh, I could use some storage yeah just a little like do I need to have a house to have storage like how does that work exactly I see red dots there is oh here we go All right, well, he's dead. I don't know where you came from and who you are. You are a bandit. Okay. Well, you guys caught me off guard. Ooh, plus 16 hide shield. A carrot. I'm going to take your gold. Note to Rudolph. Who the frick is Rudolph? I'm going to read it. I'm reading your stuff. I'm being very nosy at this point. I Now I want to know your life story. Who is Rudolph? Who is shooting at me? This, this chick, dude, dude. Yeah. Get out of my face. Orc smash. That's all I have to say. All right. Do you have gold on you, sir? A gar what do I do with the gems? I have a lot of gems that I've found, and I I am not too sure about what I'm supposed to do. Do I sell them? Can I use them for crafting? Like, what is, uh, what is that? A salmon. Ooh. You guys got some, some stew going on? A cooking pot? Just some nice veggies? I should probably start using vegetables and potions and stuff in this game. As of right now, I just... I mostly oh I got some more lockpick guys because I am really bad at lockpicking and I break them far too often. All right, no, 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 no. Okay, aha, there we go. What's in here? Fifty nine gold and a silver ingot. I will take it. You know what? I'm not gonna complain. Anything else that I can steal from the bandits who steal? Nope. We're good here. All right, moving on along, continuing up the mountain. It was uh, nice working with you guys. Is this? Is this just like a cave? To White River Watch. Oops. Am I supposed to be here? Is this dude a bandit? Who's there? Rodolph? That you? Who who is Rudolph? Yeah, he's dead, you're next. Who the frick is Rudolph? I don't know who hey, Rudolph is. Somebody get down here. Help! Who is Rudolph? Should I have read that letter? Oh said. crap. All right, well, I've started something, and I don't know what I've started. Oh, 
Who is Rudolph? I don't know what I've just done. <laughs> I should have read that letter to Rudolph, I suppose. I didn't know it was going to be important. I just kept going and now I've just murdered a lot of people and I don't know what for. Um, did I just like start a mission chain? Ooh, lockpicks. Did I start a... Ooh, potion of minor healing. I'll take this too. Hold on though. Hold the phone. Let me let me go to items. Let's see who this freaking Rudolph is. We found a letter to Rudolph, right? Can I read it? Here we go. Note to Rudolph. What does this say? Rudolph, your little stunts try my patience. I know my uncle has issues, but he's in our watchman, and you will respect him. No more sneaking in and out. No more games with his ledger or nails in his chair. One more joke, and you'll see how funny a day in the cage can be. Hajvar. Uh, so there's discourse among the bandits? Is that what I'm getting at? Ulfur's book. What does this say? Um, please, let's turn, turn the page. Hello? Hello? I couldn't see anything. Why can't I see anything? Can I? There's nothing in it. I can't do anything. Literally, clicking around doesn't... Okay, well, that's a blank book. I don't know what that is. Is there anything further down here? Am I getting distracted? Yes, I am. Am I doing stuff that I probably shouldn't? Yes, I am. Because what else am I supposed to do? Where exactly am I going? Should I not be here yet? Is this like another mission that I should be doing later on down the line that I'm just doing now? Oh, oh, oh crap. Okay, well, hello, sir. You gonna swing? Come on, orc boy. I got you first, so. Who else is shooting him? There's a tiger in there? Or some type of bobcat thingy? Do I have to fight that thing? Excuse me. Hello. You too. Are you daggering me? How dare you? Is there something else around here? Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just sort of running through this place killing bandits. I don't know if I'm not supposed to be here or not, but for all I know, I'm doing some stuff that I could be getting paid for from a mission later. So maybe I should just leave this place and continue on with what I'm supposed to be doing. That would probably be the smart thing, but you know. Hello, kitty cat. Can I unlock this thing? Is this thing gonna like kill me if I open the door for it? No! <laughs> Why am I really bad at lockpicking in this game? Oh no. Come on. There we go. Hello. Ah, what the? I thought I was helping you. Bad wolf. Sit, doggy. Jesus. Here I was thinking I was helping an animal that they held captive and you just freaking bite me. Two White River Overlook. Am I just going further and further into like a bandit camp here? All right, I just saved. You know what? Let's go out and see what's out here. Either that, if it's like more bandit craziness, we could just probably go. Oh, I'm detected. So they're definitely, oh, <laughs> buddy's right here. My fault, didn't realize you were there. Who set me on fire? Did your sword set me on fire? You have a cool sword. No, you die first. Like that. See, it's not very hard. Now, what do you, uh, what do you have? I want your soul. Ooh, he had a lot of gold. Oh, this is Hajvar. You're the one who wrote the letter. I'm sorry. Um, I might have, uh, killed your uncle or whoever the heck that is. Two-handed attacks do 15% more damage. Okay, let's take it. Um, steel helmet. Do I have a steel helmet? I, I don't think I do. I have a horn helmet, though. Mine's is cooler. I'll keep mine's, thank you. It does have a fire thing. It burns the target for five points. Targets on fire take extra damage. Ooh. It, I mean, it technically hits less harder than my sword, but at the same time, it sets people on fire. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'll take it. Um, I have no idea where I just was and why I was just attacking those uh, bandits. But I mean, it sounds like we may have done good, at least somewhat. There's a dude up here. Hello. Oh, ow! Back off! Who the freak? I just wanted to see what the symbol- Oh, ow! Oh! Oh! Well. Okay. <laughs> a butterfly wing. Creepy cluster. 
gold. I'll take in necromancy robes, boots. I, I'm not going to carry too much stuff because I basically lose track of what I can do. And then I have I, t I haven't tasted this. Taste this. Damage stamina is what that does. And then I find these. What does this do? Restore magicka. Ow. Ash pile. What does this do? Ooh, a shield in there. A soul gem. A mace. What does this do exactly? The ritual stone. Once a day, those under the sign of the ritual can reanimate nearby corpses to fight for them. You may only have one sign of the... Oh, I could be a necromancer. Okay. I don't think I want to be a necromancer this particular playthrough. Cool to know, though, um, that I could do that. I'm going to take this and uh, leave the rest on this skeleton. That's interesting to know that that's there, I suppose. I could reanimate dead people and be a necromancer. Sounds like fun. Maybe when we do the magic playthrough, I'm going to probably end up playing this game again at some point and likely choosing a different way to fight. It, it, it seems like a plausible way to react to this. I have no idea where I'm... Oh, crap. Wolves. Tower discover. Are you bad? Hold Are you going to hurt me? This here's a toll road, see? You're going to have to hand over, say, 200 gold if you want to use our road. Or you can eat it. I don't have money. How does 50 gold sound? How about you let me through and I don't kill you? Honestly, that's what I want to say, but let's see if we can be persuasive. Fine. I can tell you aren't worth the trouble. Just get out of here before I change my mind. Okay. Look at that, guys. We are smooth talkers. You can talk your way out of problems sometimes, but I don't think I'm I don't think I'm supposed to go that way. Give me one second. Um we are basically here going in this direction and we want to go up here i feel like i'm supposed to just keep going the path that i'm on and it might loot me around the mountain here so i'm gonna keep running this way if she charges me every time i come through here though i will in fact just destroy her i don't i don't know is she a guard or is she just a bandit i have no idea but we worked on our speech skills and we persuaded her even though i have this sword out and just like in her face like yeah uh casually F 50 gold 50 gold guys we're we are suave, smooth talkers. Ooh, I see people with lights. Are we gonna fight? You guys gonna fight me? At this point, I'm just running face first into danger. Try not to set anything on fire, all right? Well, my sword does. I'll try though. Who are you, you guys? Speak to a vigilant of Stendar. Cavort with any Daedra, and we will hunt you down. You hunt Daedra? What's a Daedra? And any other abominations that prey on mortals? Vampires, werewolves, witches? But Daedra are the worst. Their callous disregard for our lives is abhorrent in the eyes of the God of Mercy. What the frick is a Daedra? Who is Cerdan? He's the God of Mercy. The patron of order and justice for all of Tamriel. We bring his compassion where none can be found. By cleansing all those who would offend his children. Okay, so you're like, purest yes. people. Our order was founded after the Oblivion Crisis. We dedicate our lives to facing the threat of Daedra wherever they appear. We're quartered in the Hall of the Vigilant. Keeper Carset heads Skyrim's branch of our order there, providing healing and justice as needed. Okay. So, they're like the cleansers, and I don't totally know any werewolves. Not at all, you know? That's not... I, think, I don't know where there might be a group of, you know, werewolves. Am I? I, I feel like I'm supposed to go this way. It looks like this might have been the right way to approach the situation. Uh, I'm going upwards, which is good. But yeah, those guys just cleanse stuff. So interesting, I suppose. Um, so if I become like a werewolf, do they become my enemy? Do they not know that I'm a werewolf if I become a werewolf? Oh, this is like a tomb. Again, not a place I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to be going. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to be going through the tomb. I think this is another like dungeon, which is fine. And I will totally go through said dungeon at some point. But I don't think I'm supposed to go through here. I think I'm just supposed to... Oh, look, a chest. I think I'm just supposed to um, go find the graybeards. Oh, I have to unlock it. I am so bad at this. It's it's red redonkulous is what I was going to say before I very stupidly broke this. All right, let's go. What's in it? Just some gold. All right, I'll take it. You know what? It's fine. How do I continue up the mountain? Maybe I took the wrong path. Maybe I am supposed to go back the other way. All right, I found a tomb though. 
I guess we can come back here later. I am not going to get distracted again, though. We're going to go find the Greybeards because I've been traveling most of this episode so far. Moments later. I'm being chased by a fire nymph. I don't know what's happening. She's chasing me through the forest. Should I just go fight her? I... I was just going to bail because I don't know what I was intending to do, but she's literally chasing me and... Can I shoot her from afar? Hold on, let's try shooting her with, uh, our arrows. Either this is gonna be an astronomical mistake, or we're gonna take down this fire chick. Oh, it's dead. It blew up. Okay. I am master of the arcade. But, what the f- Dude, hold on, hold the freaking phone. Hold the freaking phone. My dude, who the heck are you? You were just fighting this fire thing and then you came out of nowhere hitting me. F off, my dude. Like, what the frick? I wanted to loot its body. Fire salts. Okay. Ew, what is this thing? Okay, well, that... I guess was maybe a waste of time. I don't freaking know, but I got some more random items that I can apparently taste. So let's go do that. What do fire salts do? Weakness to frost is discovered. And then um, I got some weird looking grub thing that I wasn't paying attention to what it was called. This thing. Restore stamina. Cool. Cool beans. This doesn't help me with where I'm supposed to be going. Are you a guard or... Yeah, it's a red guard. Wait, a red guard? What's a milk drinker like you doing out here? Milk I drinker? Like I enjoy milk, thank you very much. Strawberry milk specifically. Wait, what's happening? Oh my goodness! A troll? I'll help you, sir. We will do this battle together. I set it on fire for you, sir. Fight back. Yeah. Have you? We got this, red guard. Random dude that I found walking around at night. We can defeat this troll. Nice. Good job, Redguard. What are you- troll fat. Alright, well, we got some troll fat. That was interesting. Good job, Redguard, my dude. Hey, I just helped you, okay? Don't be rude, sir. We found Iverstead. Is this where I was supposed to be going? I do. I do. You want to see? I could cook these cabbages. Never settle down to have children. Think twice. Well, this child wants me to adopt her, and uh, I'm a little bit concerned about that. I don't think I'm qualified to be a mom at this point. You know, I'm pretty incompetent about everything. Is this where I'm supposed to be at? We found a little village here, so that's neat, I suppose. There's just this rushing river. I guess we're getting close, though. I've been running for like a literal day and a half. Not today. I'm just not ready to make the climb to High Hrothgar. The path isn't safe. Aren't the Greybeards expecting some supplies? Honestly, I'm not certain. I've yet to be allowed into the monastery. Perhaps one day. Judging by that conversation, I think we are in fact in the right place. If they said that the Greybeards are expecting supplies, then I think we are in fact in the right location. So we're heading in the right place. I've been traveling for like a literal day. I do believe it's becoming morning time again and I've been running. I have been running the entire time. <laughs> oh man, I need a horse or something, but they're so expensive. I'm still very poor, you guys. Very, very poor. I'm sure there are ways to make money in this game, um, but normally I'm just- I'll leave the goat alone! Back off the goat! Bad dog! Goat's just trying to live his life. Gotta be like that. I think we're going up this mountain, though. I think we're going in the right path, but I'm pretty sure there's plenty of ways to make money in this game. I have to just do some exploring on my own. I just, I like to record whenever I play it, though, just because, you know, uh, I, it's, this is like the first experience through this game, so I don't know what I'm getting into, and uh, it's just fun to record it at the time. I don't always feel like recording, though, which is why typically I sit down and plan to play through a specific thing. 
in this game but it is definitely looks like a game i could totally get lost into i could see making a character and i don't even really do the main story i just roam around and do random crap especially if you can just do that in this game which apparently you can seeing as how we took out that uh bandit camp without needing a mission for it are you a bandit do i have to kill you i don't think so you praying running 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 away is it still chasing me there's an ice troll. Oh, it's still coming. <laughs> There's an ice troll and this thing hits hard as heck. It's nearly killed me twice. So I am at this point fleeing like a little punk baby because I, I, I am suffering quite badly trying to fight this thing. It is still coming. It is still coming. Maybe, maybe the monks can save me. <laughs> I think I lost him. I think I lost him and I think we're here. So, uh, we might have avoided the ice troll. That freaking thing hits like a gosh forsaken friggin' tank. My goodness. Look at this really big chest. There's nothing in it. All right, let's go up the doors. After we ran away from an ice troll, I almost died from an ice troll. This better be worth it, Greybeards. Hello? Anybody home? Gandalf? You here, buddy? So. Dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. I'm answering your summons. You call me Dragonborn. What does that mean? I think I get the point of what a Dragonborn is, but you, I'm answering your summons. We will see if you truly have the gift. Show us, Dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. I don't feel like I have a gift, seeing as I just ran halfway up this mountain from a troll. But demonstrate your unrelenting shot. Do I shoot it at the guy? Dragonborn, it is you. Welcome to High Hrothgar. Okay. I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn. Why have you come here? You called me here. What are you talking about? Who are you and what is this place? I want to find out what it means to be a dragonborn. I'm answering your summons. Legitimately the last one. I don't know what I'm doing here. You called me. What do you want, sir? We are honored to welcome a dragonborn to High Hrothgar. We will do our best to teach you how to use your gift in fulfillment of your destiny. What is my destiny? That is for you to discover. We can show you the way, but not your destination. Really? Okay. I am ready to learn. I want to find out what it means to be a dragonborn. Who are you and what is this place? Let's try the first one. We are the Greybeards, followers of the Way of the Voice. You stand in High Hrothgar, the slopes of Kinarith's sacred mountain. Here we commune with the voice of the sky strive to achieve balance between our inner and outer selves. I want to find out what it means to be dragonborn. Well, we are here to guide you in that pursuit. Just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the dragon blood that came before you. You mean I'm not the only dragonborn? You are not the first. There have been many of the dragon blood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. Okay. Interesting. Well, I'm ready to learn. You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? remains to be seen. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thum, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, a second word in unrelenting force. Ro means balance in the dragon tongue. 
Combine it with Fus, Force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Really? Okay, what do I do? What do I do? I stare at this? Do I shout at this? Sky above, voice below. You learn a new word like a monster. You do have the gift. But learning a word of power is only the first step. You must unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. Ooh, I'm absorbing his soul. We are eating your soul. I am the soul eater. I don't know how quickly I can master anything. Demonstrate your unrelenting Use shout. Use your unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. Where are they appearing? Use both words if you can. How? You didn't teach me how to do that. Like, I can see that I can do it, so do I like have to hold it down maybe? Do I have to hold the button down? You didn't teach me how to do that, sir. Ah, okay, you do hold it down. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha, you hold it down. I'm getting the hang of it, guys. I'm getting the hang of it. Impressive. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragonborn. Thank you. I feel powerful. We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Is it going to be fighting Follow that ice troll? <laughs> because I don't think I could win that battle. <laughs> Just saying. Okay, learn the word of power from Bori. You're teaching me next, sir. I'm following behind. You walk very slowly. I, I shall walk with you. I forgot you guys are like old, you know? You got the gray beards or whatever. It's cool. We'll walk, we'll walk slowly. It's cool. It's cool. We'll get there. We will now see how you learn a completely new shout. Okay. Master Bori will teach you wood, which means whirlwind. Wood. Okay. You must hear the word within yourself before you can project it into a thumb. What does that mean? Do I just shout at this? Because that's what I did last time, and it made me learn the word. Okay. <laughs> Let me have your soul, sir. Give me your soul. Now we will see how quick Master the new shout. Okie dokie. We'll try it. Master Wolfgar. I think I need to like actually change my shout to be that though, right? Like I need to do that so that when I shout I'm using the right one. Cool! Your turn. Stand next to me. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. Fun! Fun! That's cool! <laughs> That's fun! Yo, that one's fun. I like that. <laughs> Your quick mastery of a new thumb is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself? I thought it was this easy for everyone. I don't know how I do it. It just happens. Thank you. What's next? No, indeed not. But beware that your skill does not outstrip your wisdom. You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ustengraf. Remain true to the way of the voice, and you will return. Okay, I will try. Um, why are the dragons returning? Does it have something to do with me? 
What does it mean to be dragonborn? Why are shouts in the dragon language? And there are only four of you? Um, why are the dragons returning? No doubt the appearance of a dragonborn at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. You should focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. Thank you, Master. I will continue my training. Surely there's more you can tell me. I mean, what else can there you tell me? There is indeed much that we know that you do not. That does not mean that you are ready to understand it. Oh. Do not let your easy mastery of the voice tempt you into the arrogance of power. That has been the downfall of many dragonborn before you. I feel you, my dude. I still feel like I have no idea what I'm doing, so I don't think you have to be too concerned about that. But what does it mean to be dragonborn, and why are shouts in the dragon language? Um, I'm going to go through all of these just because I want to pick up some more of the lore. Dragons have the inborn ability to learn and project their voice. Dragons also are able to absorb the power of their slain brethren. A few mortals are born with similar abilities, whether a gift or a curse has been a matter of debate down through the centuries. What you have already learned in a few days took even the most gifted of us years to achieve. Some believe that dragonborn are sent into the world by the gods at times of great need. We will speak more of that later, when you are ready. Really? So, are these guys not dragonborn? There's a lot of questions that I could go through through here. I'm not going to go through all of these right now. But it's like, are these guys not dragonborn? Like, they can, they can do the shouts, right? So, like, are they not dragonborn themselves because of that? Or is this... I don't know. Maybe I'm just confused. But it sounds like we're supposed to be going through another dungeon or whatever like that. But this recording is long enough. I know a lot of it was travel. I apologize for that. I also got distracted a little bit there. But... Um, learning more of the shouts. The shouts are really fun. I have to get better at the keybinds, I think. I need to figure out how to, like, hot keybind stuff because, like, switching them in the menu is not the most intuitive thing, but I'll probably do some digging and see if I can figure that out. But I'm going to leave this episode here. We learned some new shouts. We found the Greybeards after a very, very long time running. And uh, I'm, we're going to go clear a dungeon next episode, which is probably going to take me some time, which is the only reason why I'm not doing it this one, because this episode's long enough. So thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, then please give it a like or don't. That's up to you. But I do hope that you'll come, be, come back and join me. I lost track of what I was about to say with uh, more Skyrim with Irum the Orc here on the channel. Thanks all. Bye-bye.